Hi, today I'll be making a chocolate cake. This is a heavenly chocolate cake. It's a very dark chocolate cake and it has a fantastic icing to die for. I make so many different kinds of chocolate cakes. So this is one of them and I like this as well. However, my husband doesn't seem to love this one. But I love to share this because I really like it. We use buttermilk for this. So don't worry about buying it. Just take one and a half cups of milk and put one half of lemon juice and leave it for half an hour. While the buttermilk is getting red, I'm going to prepare the rest of the ingredients for the cake. Always sift the flour, especially for cakes. One thing it lets a lot of yarn go in and the other thing is it's really clean when you do that. This is quite an easy recipe to make a cake, so I'm going to sift everything to the bowl I'm going to be making the cake in. You can even just use a whisk, that's quite alright. Adding my one and a half cups of sugar, so I'm adding brown sugar and white, a mixture, but you can use brown or white, it's up to you. No difference. Make sure to use a good quality chocolate powder. That's how your cake tastes really good. So I'm using half of Muta what I had in Sri Lanka and some powder that I bought from US. I'm adding one teaspoon of Nescafe as well. I like that it tastes in a chocolate cake. Adding some baking powder and bicarbonate of soda both for this cake. Very generous, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Salt cuts the sweet and gives the chocolate a nice flavor as well. So first putting in my buttermilk, it's ready, you can see, it's curdled a little. I got some cocoa powder on my hands, but don't worry. To make the best food, you have to get your hands dirty. I'm using four large eggs at room temperature. As you can see, it's a very easy recipe, just mix all the dry ingredients first and then put all the wet ingredients one by one this is half a cup of uh, oil i'm using coconut oil you can use vegetable oil since this coconut oil doesn't have too much of flavor and it's healthier i'm using coconut oil and one and a half cups of warm water of course some vanilla essence combine everything together you can use a beater for this but I'm just combining it first and then I'm going to be using the beater you can see the beautiful rich color you can divide this mixture into two pans or three so today I'm dividing it into two but you can easily divide this mixture into three that's perfect as well this bakes quite fast in half an hour to 45 minutes it is ready when you press the top or put a knife in it comes out clean so you know the cake is ready and it leaves the sides you can see it's a beautiful dark chocolate cake that's what I love about chocolate cake the color turn it in it will come easily because I have greased my pan with butter and a little bit of flour so my next cake is ready as well Make sure to see that both the cakes are well cooled before you start icing. So I'm going to put one cake on the tray that I'm going to be icing it in and the other is still cooling. It's a moist and dark, beautiful, yummy cake. If you want it to be still moist, you can make a little bit of coffee and pour it at this stage to soak up all the coffee. But I'm not doing it today. So I'm getting ready to make this yummy, delicious icing. Starting off by saving the icing sugar and the cocoa powder. And this is my cream cheese. I'm putting my cream cheese in. I'm using a full cream cheese here. And then the butter. Just we are going to cream the butter and cream cheese together with a little bit of vanilla essence. I'm using my beater, but you can do it by hand. Try and use the best quality chocolate for this as well. I'm using one and a half cups of cocoa powder. saving my cocoa powder because there are a lot of lumps so I'm going to take that away. 
saving my icing sugar as well. Adding my vanilla to the icing mixture where I'm creaming my butter and cream cheese. Put your mixer on slow and start adding the icing sugar and cocoa powder little by little and start mixing it till you get a nice icing, a dark color and a lovely texture that you can easily ice a cake. To get the proper texture you have to add milk. So add a little bit of milk at a time, about half a cup of milk. Uh, is what I use for this but you may use a little less or more it depends on the texture of the icing you prefer keep the icing a little stiff it looks nice and easy to decorate on top I am lazy to pull off my spatula and my turning table for this cake it's really easy I'm just going to use this same spoon and decorate my cake as I always tell I don't like to pull a lot of stuff out when you pull more things you have more washing up to do after so I stick to bare minimum. The icing is really delicious, not too sweet and you can see the lovely texture. It's easy to ice and I have a lot of icing so I'm very lavish with the icing because the icing tastes so good. So I have sandwiched it with the other cake, push it in nicely and then go ahead and lavishly ice your top layer as well. You can use a nozzle and do some decorations on top but I am going to stick to a very basic decoration which is quite nice and rustic. It's a rustic chocolate yummy cake. Just don't worry, go on putting more icing on top and just slide it down so that you can finish off the sides as well. It's very easy. It's a rustic cake so I'm not too bothered about how it looks. It's going to be an easy decoration. The icing alone looks so yummy so it doesn't matter how it's going to look. Yeah, this is how I finished it off. It looks kind of a rose, a rustic rose kind of a look. But it looks amazing, delicious and something everyone at home is going to love it. I'm sure you're going to try it. Until I meet you next, enjoy the chocolate cake. Happy cooking. Bye for now.